Good morning, everybody. It's Santina Doyle with Solo Female Van Life Lessons. I have been posting slightly different types of videos these days. I've been posting videos of where I've gone, and I have been doing video editing. I said in my lessons videos early on that I was not going to become a videographer and do editing, and I still am not going to become a videographer. But some of these places are just so beautiful that I wanted to share them with you today. I am going to volunteer on a tall ship in Philadelphia called the Gazella. And I'm not sure what I will be doing, so I dressed for the occasion with some um, work clothes and I put my hair up so that as it blows around in the breeze it won't get in my face. Um, and it's fall here, so it's uh, probably going to be about, I would say, 60 degrees and it's the high. And I am taking my camel, camel back. Um, bladder, whatever you want to call it, um, full of water, and um, a couple of first aid things just in case I like have allergies. I have my allergy medicine, I have some money because parking is expensive down in Philadelphia, especially down near Penn's Landing, which is where we will be. And uh, so I'm going to film some of it, I don't know how much, because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm actually doing my work as a volunteer not being there as a videographer. Uh, so I'll try to create a video out of that experience and hopefully there will be some lessons along the way. Uh, I don't know, you know, you never know in life when you're going to learn a lesson. So I will share that with you as they happen. Um, parking place that they suggested. There's a discount for Gazella volunteers and it looks like the waterfront is actually kind of closed. Um, you can't get to the ship from walking along the pier. They have the sidewalk closed or the whatever the pavement closed. So I'm going to try to find my way. Pier, so it's the one in the center of the screen. I'm going to see if that's the gazella. Gazella found her. So, Gazella Primero is a Portuguese wooden tall ship built in 1901 as a commercial fishing vessel, and it fished for over 60 years. 35 fishermen to the Grand Banks it's beautiful. in Newfoundland and it had a crew of 40, 35 fishermen, two cooks, two mates, and a captain. The bottom of the ship, which is called the cargo hold, was filled with salt so that they could preserve the 350 tons of cod, flounder, halibut, haddock, and perch that they would bring into port. The Gazella's last trip to the Grand Banks was in 1969 and that fishery was depleted. It was then purchased in 1971 by a private investor who donated it to the Philadelphia Maritime Museum. 
And then in 1985, the ownership transferred to the Philadelphia Ship Preservation Guild, where she is today at Penn's Landing, and she cruises on the Delaware River in the spring and the summer. The Philadelphia Ship Preservation Guild is the one that's looking for volunteers to help prepare Gazella for the next season of tourists and people who are interested in sailing on a wooden top ship. And if you want to get in touch with them and volunteer, simply go to meet up and look up Philadelphia Ship Preservation Guild. And if you get an opportunity to volunteer on the Gazella, um, just ask for Marcus uh, or Nolan and they will uh, put you to work. Tell them Santina sent you. One of the coordinators of the volunteers whose name is Marcus was explaining the plans that he has for the Gazella and for the uh, Philadelphia um, Ship Preservation Guild and their future plans for for a shipyard down in that area of Philadelphia. Well, that's where exactly where we'd want to put the, the shipyard. So basically use this disturbed area here and here for the shipyard. Use this and this and this for woodlot, uh, nature conservation, also uh, somewhat developing the riverfront here for pier space. We work that into uh, oaks and, and uh, locusts and, and basically shipbuilding timber, right. which also, you know, it becomes part of the, you know, the ecosystem here. And in the whole process, we can sequester a lot of carbon. We can, there's all sorts of things we can do. So we, so the idea being using this facility to not only teach, do the, the ship building and ship restoration, but teach those skills and teach the trade skills that go along with that. Okay. In the whole process, engage it's a really underserved neighborhood. Um, engage them. It would be part of the Schuylkill Trail system, and it would wind up becoming a destination. So here, let me show you what I have in mind. So, so this, um, the first thing we got to do is basically uh, develop it enough on a preliminary basis so we can put Gazella on a deck barge and get her on there so that we can park her here and do the work that we need to do. So we were, we're starting out with, so we have a sawmill and a log yard and an event space so that when, whenever we have some sort of gathering with the community or whatever, we got this space there that we can do something with. Um, the next phase would be to to build an improved lifting facility here so that you can take a ship like Gazella and translocate it on a railroad and shift it side to side. Mm -hmm. So we can have as many as four, one, two, three, four vessels out of the water at the same time. Again, the kids that are learning the trade skills, you know, these are sort of experiences that, that they can expand their, their skill base. And furthermore, it's exactly the skill base that the tugboat companies are looking for. So it's you know it's, it's jobs training as well. So the in 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 the twenty years from now phase that I'm probably not likely to see without me being in my wheelchair, there is a uh, marine railroad. It'd be big enough to haul out Olympia. Really? Yeah. And she needs it desperately. We're all us guys are going to hit retirement age, and we're going to leave the quarter deck. And who's going to who's going to man our decks? And my thing is, these are not burger flipping jobs. These are family rearing, rearing, community building, real life careers. With you know, think about this: two weeks on, two weeks off. Every two weeks, you get a two week vacation. Well, I don't know if you can hear me, but it was a very successful day. So successful that I worked and did not film because my hands were full of paint and cough, but we had a lot of fun. So I met the two gentlemen who were working on the boat, Marcus and Nolan. We were sanding and painting and caulking. And so the side of the deck and 
there were bolts that hold the ship together that need to be covered with a piece of wood, like a plug, and they call it a bung. And so Marcus gave me my bung as a my souvenir. <laughs> it was really nice meeting those guys. It was really nice working with them. And they are looking for volunteers every Saturday and Wednesday. So if I get a chance to go back on a Saturday, I plan to go again. I actually went back about a month later and volunteered again on the ship. And so highly recommend.